Jumping straight into it, we have my personal favorite look showcasing some authentic mid 90s style. These pants are the shining gem of this ensemble. They are so great. They are a pair of capri pants with rhinestone detailing along the hems. By the way, I still had a bruise on my leg when I filmed this, which I got from falling off a bicycle, in case you were curious. The casual opened up collared shirt is something I remember wearing back in the day. This one also has a very subtle leopard print. Coordinating with my outfit, I'm wearing black and green butterfly hair clips, which were an accessory popular from the late 90s to the early 2000s. The shoe of choice is a pair of foam platforms. They come with a guarantee of at least one sprained ankle. Do you guys remember those tiny little handbags? This one couldn't fit much more than a couple of lip smackers inside of it, but it completes the look perfectly, along with some frosted lips, of course. Next up, we have quite a simple girly look with a little red dress. It has a design very typical of the 90s, including the short sleeves combined with the mini length, and then of course the velvet texture, which I'm sure would do Sabrina Spellman very proud. Naturally, I paired this look with some black tights and ultra chunky sandals that look like they could be straight out of Adelia's catalog from 1996. To finish off the look, I added this black beaded necklace, which just goes with everything that Delia's inspiration pops up again, as it will throughout this entire lookbook pretty much. And finally, a mini backpack, because you've got to have somewhere to store your portable CD player. Jeans with a baggy fit or wide leg were huge in the 90s, both literally and figuratively. And it was during the mid 90s that the rise or waist of jeans began to go lower. So here I'm rocking some skater jeans that combine both of those trends. The only thing that could make this look totally off the chain is a chain or chain wallet. So I guess you could say it's off the chain wallet. I'll hold for the applause. Offsetting the slightly grungy urban vibe of the jeans, I'm wearing a t-shirt with a very dainty floral print. Try saying dainty floral print 10 times fast. This necklace that my friend thrifted for me to pair with this look is just too perfect, especially the style of the graphics on the enamel pendant. Since platform and thick sole sneakers are a well-known staple of the 90s, I've worn these ultra puffy buffalo sneakers that peek out from underneath the hem of the jeans. Moving on to our next look, we have an all black party ready ensemble. Only in the 90s could rhinestone platform flip flops be considered a dressy clothing item. Bearing a little bit of midriff, we have this black crop top with a V-shaped finish. The long skirt is mid rise, of course, with a sheer panel at the hem. Accessories were sometimes kept quite simple in the 90s, so I'm just wearing my black beaded necklace again and some mini hair clips. Time to finish off the lookbook with something fresh and youthful. This blue gingham dress with the straight across neckline, spaghetti straps, and floral details looks almost identical to some that I saw in Adelia's catalog. And I've added the same chunky sandals as in the second look. It was all about that contrast of something cute and sweet with the heavy black shoes. 
as the dress looks so summery and picnic appropriate, I've accessorized with some oval sunglasses, which is a trend that is now coming back in full force. That about sums up my next installment of 90s outfits. Let me know which ones were your favorite and why in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys in my next one.